Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Happy Movember. Yes, the mustache is back. <laughs> I have another exciting review to share with you guys today. Our friends over at Barbie sent me three dolls from the brand new BMR 1959 collection. Thank you so much, Mattel, for the PR box. As always, we love you guys, and I'm excited to get into the dolls and share them with all of you. They sent me three dolls from the collection. This beautiful girl right here and this beautiful girl right here. I don't think they have names, actually. Um, they have numbers. So she is GHT92, and she is GHT95, right, like that. And then I also received one of these gorgeous boys that I'm really excited about, um, and he is GHT93. It's a super, super trend driven, like street culture inspired collection. I have to be totally, totally honest with you. When I first saw them and my friend sent me pictures of them, I was like, eh, pass. I'm not a big street style person. Um, I think I have been very clear about where I stand in terms of fashion. I'm definitely more of like a classic fashion guy, though I did lose the bow tie for today's review, so we can appreciate that. <laughs> There's so many different cool things happening in fashion right now, obviously with fashion becoming more inclusive and more diverse than ever before. The exclusivity factor of it has definitely like kind of started to wither away, even with like legacy heritage brands from Europe. So that's really exciting for everyone to see. It's becoming more accessible. It's becoming just a lot more attainable i think for people all around the world right of all ages so i think this is really exciting that barbie has come out with this collection the collections celebrates the fashion heritage of barbie and showcases how current trends influence the brand these bold fully posable dolls capture the diverse looks found in today's streetwear culture from high low fashion mixes reimagined 90s gear to juxtaposed patterns textures and silhouettes this curated ensemble is all about personal expression and style the more i started seeing these guys around um what you know on all of your guys' um, Instagram accounts and the more I started seeing all of their promotional photos, I was like, you know what? I actually wouldn't mind having some of them. And literally like the day before I was gonna buy them, um, I got this PR box. <laughs> so Mattel was reading my mind. Thank you guys again for sending these to me. I think they have made to move bodies. You guys know how I feel about made to move bodies. Not really a fan of them. However, I know that many, many of you guys are. And I feel like these dolls have really been like a huge, huge hit so far, right? Like I feel like everywhere I look, people who are not even doll collectors have like really been getting into them. So yeah, I am looking forward to getting in and kind of seeing what all the fuss is about. Um, I really am enjoying this shoebox box i have to say i'm not entirely sure why the shoe box design but it kind of has this very like keepsake kind of feel to it right like we generally keep things that we love in shoe boxes um at least i did when i was a kid and i think many people in my generation did so yeah it definitely has like a very cool retro -y feel to it the 90s are definitely back which is exciting to me because i grew up in the 90s and i love the 90s <laughs> so these dolls are designed by carlisle numera they are all black label dolls and they are all part of the barbie signature category um, they're not play line uh, but they are definitely posable and um, playable primarily aimed towards the adult collector by the way if you are watching my video today and you are under the age of 18 please make sure you grab your mom dad big sister babysitter whomever you have in the room with you that's 18 years or older <laughs> my videos are not intended for children they are intended for adult doll collectors and toy collectors in general who are over the age of 18 all right so we are starting with doll GHT95 she is a really cute doll here from the cover we have a, a gorgeous just sketch of the doll the side of the box here says BMR on it um, we see the BMR logo carried all the way around and then the back of the box here has all of the copyright information on it adorable adorable this is what the inside of the box looks like right when you open her up and it's covered with tissue paper that says BMR 1959 on it all right without further ado let's take a look one two and three oh my god yes mama holy colorful <laughs> check out this gorgeous combo of colors here really it's working huh 
Um, I'm really loving the quality of this jacket. I've been reading that many of you guys have been happy with the quality of the clothes here, so I'm excited to get in and see what this is all about. What a cute little presentation this is. And I see her doll stand there behind her. It looks like a big black doll stand with the BMR logo on it. Very cool. Let's get this babe out of her box. Here we go, here we go. So she lifts out just like so. The inner carton lifts out and then we are left with the tissue paper and the cardboard box just like that. And then here in the back is her certificate of authenticity. It's taped down to the inner carton um, as they all are now. Cute, it's a black label certificate of authenticity like the other black label certificates that we've seen before. I think one of the big things that um, I think is important for us to remember is that fashion is obviously changing, right? It's uh, being much more democratized than it ever was before. So with that, social attitudes and norms have also changed. And I think we need to adapt and have fun with it. I am glad that these girls and guys have grown on me. I'm glad that I have them to be able to explore and take a look at. Ta-da! Oh, cute! <laughs> look at these sneakers. There is that made-to-move body. Yikes. <laughs> I will keep an open mind because I am sure that the body will grow on me and I think the fact that all the joints are covered is very helpful for me because I don't find the made-to-move bodies particularly um, alluring. However, like I said before, I know that many of you guys uh, love the body and have been asking me a lot about this that and the other and I've always kind of been like I don't know because I don't really collect made to move bodies, but here we go I can give you more information on it from the front lines. Thanks again to Mattel for sending these guys to me I am so honored to be on your PR list obviously and very excited that after almost four years of working hard that you guys are um, acknowledging me and excited about what you know, we all have to say about it. So thanks, Mattel. Right off the bat, I can tell you that there is Velcro in here because there was a plastic strap secured around her waist and her dress is Velcro. I'm gonna go ahead and get these tabs out. One, two, and three. Oh, adorable. First impressions. I feel like this is a nicer version of a fashionista doll. And why I'm saying that is the clothing has a similar feel to it. The jacket is quite nice and the fabric is quite nice and I like the um, repetitive pattern on it. However, the jewelry is plastic. They're big plastic hoops. Her hat is molded, it's plastic. The eye makeup and face paint is cute. Like I love the purple lips. Um, but yeah, it has very much of a fashionista vibe in that I think they want you to interact with them and redress them and have fun with them. So, you know, that's cool. I can't be mad at that. So her doll stand is in here in two parts. Here is part number one. Um, oh, what a cool stand. And then here is the stand portion. It's um, one of these types of doll stands that clips the doll here at the waist and it can be slided up or down um, depending on how you know, you want it to sit. So yeah, there we go. Here is BMR 1959 doll GHT95, fully dressed in all of her accessories for you guys to get a better look at. She definitely is very citrusy and neon and adorable. Um, I really do love this color combination. It's very striking in person. And um, yeah, she has the Kira face, it looks like and a made to move body that we will get a, a better look at here in just a second. Um, I'm really enjoying this little dress underneath here. It looks like uh, a little long maxi dress. Um, it has, a, there's like a cool denim jacket here on top. And uh, she has a little beret. She has little um, hoop earrings there and her nails are painted. So that's a nice touch. She has these cool like platform sneakers one. All right, all right, she's adorable. Here she is from the back, just like so. The beret is actually um, tagged into her head. So I'm not gonna to bother taking that off because I'm pretty sure that we will most likely just see, there we go. 
her hair underneath there. <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely feels nice and squishy. So it's um, a molded plastic for sure. So I thought we would try something a little different today. Since there are three of these that I want to be able to undress and take a look um, in more detail with you guys, I think what I'll do is just pull the camera up and undress them and take a look at them kind of all at once. And that way you guys can see the clothes coming on and off and see how easy or difficult it is to get them on and off. All right, so let's go ahead and get this ensemble off of this girl. Ooh, oh cool, it's a long sleeve top here. Interesting, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just snip off this little plastic tack, just like so. Uh, they put these to keep the clothes laying down on the doll so that the presentation is nice. And then there's that top, just like so, all right. So it's a cute little jacket. I think it's meant to look like a denim jacket. Um, it's not lined, but it does have a cute little BMR 1959 tag inside. And the construction is nice. I mean, it's standard Mattel. Um, I think this is pretty much what Black Label is these days. And it's neat. Um, the fabric feels nice and relatively um, thick. It feels kind of denim-like. It feels like there's like a coating on it. So it feels almost like a waxed denim. But I don't think this is a denim. It almost feels kind of like oil cloth actually but i do like that there is a convertible collar up here i like that it's lined on both sides with this uh, bmr logo clad fabric it's a blue base with a white repetitive logo on it um, so that's cool there's a little yoke detail up here which is lovely the stitching on here is quite nice it's a set in sleeve so that that means the sleeve has been put in separately and then we see one panel here in the front Another panel here in the front. These are not functioning buttons. Um, they are just completely decorative. The one, two, three, four of them here in the front there. And the cuff detail on the jacket is quite nice too. Um, we see some top stitching details here. We see the cuff has been turned in and sewn. So yeah, it's, um, it's good craftsmanship. I mean, it's like an elevated fashionista collection, I think. And that's okay because I think um, they all offer this kind of fun, cool, mix and match vibe to it. So that is the jacket, adorbs. And then here is the dress, cool. It has like a definitely a very um, on-trend feel to it. It says BMR 1959 across her chest there. Has like a high turtleneck type of a neckline and a long sleeves here, cool, cool. And then we also see a, um, some interesting racing stripe type detail here down the side seam here from the waist So it's like an ampere waist actually because it hits right under her bust and then here in the back. It's a velcro closure uh, And it hits right at her ankles. It looks like okay I like that it kind of ties in with her makeup and her jewelry a little bit too like this kind of neon citrus combo very starbursty <laughs> I feel like anytime I see um, citrus neon colors it just instantly reminds me of Starburst and that's not a bad thing all right so the dress comes off just like so okay trying to be mindful here of the slit being quite high okay all right there we go there we go there we go Okay, so it's a very fitted arm. So be careful when you are taking this off. The fabric is that um, very familiar kind of stretchy poly blend, almost spandex-like material. Um, but uh, yeah, it kind of has a little bit of a sheen to it. And then from here, I think we can just slip this off just like so. And there is her little paper knee guard. Um, not entirely sure why that's there. I assume it's to keep her knees from jumping around too much. Okay, just like that. And there we go. There's her little body here. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of her shoes off. I'm gonna try so that we can see what her feet look like. Ta-da, oh, cute, they're little flat feet. All right, so for those of you who are fanatics of the Made to Move body, I'm sure this looks quite familiar to you. 
it is not so familiar to me because I am not really a fanatic of the made to move body and to be honest I don't really even think I have any in my collection right now um, ones that I've had I've given away sold etc etc but here she is in the buff um, again for those of you who love the made to move body for those of you who want to pose and play and photograph her you are in luck my friends because she is fully fully articulated and has lots of movement here her arms rotate outward here they go up at the shoulder they bend of course here at the elbow and they move all around here at her wrists she does have a cute little manicure here as well i uh, really adore her face paint here i like the soft lime green kind of hiding in her eyes beautiful nicely combed up brows like really cool plum purpley lipstick here well more purple than plum plastic hoop earrings here they do come out just like so uh, so they are interchangeable with your other dolls and then she moves here underneath her breast plate just like so she has printed barbie underwear on just like that so that again reminds me of um, like the fashionistas and then in terms of her legs they kick out just like so or they kick up I should say and they kick out just like so we can see the little plastic ball bearing mechanism in there when she moves her leg out and then her thighs move outward as well and then her knees bend just like so and then her feet bend out just like that so this is why I think so many of you guys love the made to move body it's because it gives you that full range of motion very much like an action figure um, I of course you know I'm not like the huge biggest posing doll posing person um, but i can appreciate it for what it is and considering that it's all covered up i think there's definitely um i think it's definitely a good idea that carlisle went with these bodies for sure and then here is her little balenciaga-esque sneaker i know that the um, platform sneaker and just the sneaker trend in general is huge right now so there we go um would have been nice to see a little bit of like uh different lace color or some sort of paint job to give us some dimension but all the same the bottom of the platform by the way is completely hollow so she probably can stand on her own but uh yeah it's very lightweight feels pretty squishy all right next up is ght92 and she is this beautiful babe with this cool like ribbon 1959 logo action happening here in the front so here we go box just like this when we open it then we open the tissue and she's underneath here so one two and three oh cute wow look at that hair oh my goodness okay so i feel like she's one of the ones that i've seen a lot of around the net um definitely instagram has been loving her shoes she has such like a Jeremy Scott Moschino vibe going on with like Balenciaga-esque shoes, right? <laughs> um, love all the colorful patterns coming together here. Love this logo grow green ribbon action happening in the front and look at her hair. <gasps> I think that's gotta be like my favorite thing about her. I love this big kind of platinum blonde curly fro here adorable so let's go ahead and get this babe out of her box so she too lifts out just like so from the shoe box ta-da and then once again here we see the logo tissue paper inside the little shoe box we're gonna go ahead and close that and put that aside. And then just like the, with the previous doll, she has her certificate of authenticity here. It is taped down here to the back of the box. It's the exact same um, certificate as we saw in the previous doll. They're not personalized. Thank you again to Mattel for sending these dolls to me. Um, you guys know how excited I get when I get PR boxes from them. Uh, that excitement has not gone away at all. And today, actually the day that I'm filming, I received another big PR box from Mattel, a big pink trunk. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I storied about it and actually made a post about it. So I got that earlier today um, when I got home and I was just so blown away by just, I don't know, it's just it was just a nice, nice surprise to come home to. <laughs> it's been a tough week um, this past week for me and um, I was very happy to come home and see a big pink box waiting for me. <laughs> Cute! So the only thing about her is we can see her knees and you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of these knees. I do not like the joints. Though I know that many of you guys 
who are hardcore made to move body fanatics don't mind it at all so <laughs> um, it's a give and take so I feel like these dolls are definitely made for those of you that love to redress that love to play around with your different doll fashions that uh, love to pose and photograph your dolls a lot this is the collection for you if you guys have not yet invested in some of these dolls please do so they're not that expensive they're quite well priced for being black label dolls and um, so far they look pretty well made I have to say her clothing is also velcroed just a heads up on that oh it's one big ponytail oh cute so her hat is actually um, tagged here onto her head as well I don't really think I need to take it off I mean I can see that she has pretty hair underneath that um, I don't really plan on redressing these dolls. I'm going to keep them just as is. Oh, she does not have a manicure. Boo. Her doll stand is here inside plastic, plastic, plastic. Here is doll GHT92 from the Barbie BMR 1959 collection. She, of course, has the beautiful little closed mouth Millie face sculpt there. She also has the classic made to move body, which we'll get a closer look at in just a second. Um, I do love the colors here. As with the other doll, very vibrant, very bold, very, very much on trend with what we're seeing on the street style inspired runways. Um, there you can see the little tacks on the side of her hat there that are holding it onto her head. I imagine the hat will stay on just fine without it. Um, but I'm probably not going to take um, it off because why bother? It looks nice and neat the way it is. There is her hair underneath that. So beautiful streaked hair with lots of gorgeous color in it. I really, really do love her hair here. It's so pretty and curly. Um, it needs to be judged just a little bit here on the back. But you can see the quality of the curls is actually quite nice and it feels very soft. I am definitely loving this curly hair moment that I've been having here on my channel. <laughs> Between like last week's doll and then um, Luciana Barbie that we saw a few weeks ago, I am digging it. So there are two little plastic tacks here holding her shirt down. So we will probably want to take that off to expose the true cut of the shirt because it looks like it's a bit of like an oversized fit there. I really like these little grow grain ribbon details coming down the side. Like she's definitely cool and like ready to party, right? And check out her little shoes here. I mean, hello. So I went ahead and took the little tacks off of her shirt here and that's what it looks like. So it's uh, definitely has a slightly oversized feel to it and kind of cuts right at her waist there with a very kind of loose and baggy silhouette and here in the back we see that that flares out a little bit too so definitely like has that cool oversized feel to it and um, it's kind of like a crop top without really being too cropped because we don't really see her belly so when I pull her hair back here we see the velcro closure to the top I do wish that we had some snaps like that would have been a nice touch it would have definitely like elevated these outfits to something a bit more special you know um, however it is what it is I understand production costs etc etc but the top comes off just like so very easy to take off um, it feels quite nice actually it's like a nice um, brushed cotton there's lots of colors here we see some blue here as the primary color of the body here and then we see a red sleeve, a yellow sleeve, and then we see this cool um, grow green ribbon that has the repeating logo on it. My goodness, I mean, <laughs> this logo is everywhere, huh? You definitely could not get away from it uh, from not knowing what this is. <laughs> we see a little bit of like a lime green trim here at the collar. And then of course here is the Velcro closing. And then when we open it up, here it is on the inside. We don't see a tag or anything but we do see the craftsmanship and um, it's relatively basic but it's neat and nicely done so i can appreciate that again it has a very soft feel to it um, i could see this being attractive to younger children because there are no sharp edges or anything like that i think the fact that it's quite oversized here in the waist means that this could fit a lot of your different dolls so you know if you have um, the curry fashion fashionistas or the slightly dad bod kens like 
I think that could definitely be <laughs> like mix and match, right? So here she is with just the pants on and we actually see that the pants are a bit of a high waist here. So if she had the top on with a lower rise pant, we would see a little bit of belly button. So that explains what we're seeing. Let's go ahead and take the pants off. They also are a Velcro, a Velcro closure here. And I will say, no tea, no shade, but these remind me a little bit of something like a clown would wear, <laughs> right? Like there's definitely a little bit of like both the clown type um, vibe going on, but the silhouette definitely is one that I love. I love a good high-waisted pant that kind of finishes right up here um, where the knee starts. Um, construction is, you know, again, standard, nicely done. It's neat. There is the BMR 1959 tag here on the inside. Um, the... Uh, waistband is uh, serge stitch stitched off here nicely. We see all the raw edges are um, finished off. So yeah, I mean, pants are you know not the easiest thing to make, but I definitely appreciate that uh, they put some work into this. It's not lined or anything like that, so it's not like avant-garde haute couture per se, but um, yeah, definitely a nice piece that I think you will have fun with your other dolls with. And then let's take a look at her little sock shoes here. Um, just like this, I'm gonna be gentle and pull them off just like so, ta-da. So she also has flat feet here, no pedicure or manicure. We see a little black sole detail here and the white sock part comes all the way down through the shoe. We of course see the BMR 1959 logo stamped very boldly here in black. Um, yeah, definitely like a cool little piece. Like I think for those of you guys who like really love current trendy fashion, like this is would be really fun for you to have. And then here is um, a Barbie here in the buff. And as we can see, she has the made to move body. It's the same body as the doll before with the little printed underwear here, the same range of motion. So again, for those of you guys who love to pose and play and move these dolls, you will love it because they are fully, fully posable. Um, I do love her face, I will say, the closed mouth Millie sculpt. This is what that we see a lot of our holiday dolls in these days, um, especially the Caucasian dolls. Um, I love that lip color, it's very nice and plain. I think she's meant to look like super minimal on the makeup. They definitely achieved that. I don't really see much color anywhere except for that kind of nude flesh on the lips. It looks like the lip print is a little bit higher than her lips. So that could be intentional, like Instagram brows, Instagram lips, where the lipstick kind of almost touches the nostrils. <laughs> Um, or it could be a printing error. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys. Her eyes are actually really, really pretty. They look very lifelike, and the paint job there is adorable. And then um, here on the cap, the strap is not removable or anything like that in the front, so it's just one molded baseball cap, and it actually has like a nice squishy feel to it. I like all the little top stitch detail here. Yeah, and her hair is really, really pretty. Very soft, very um, just pretty. I'm excited to kind of give it a little spritz of water and get it all zhuzhed out. I feel like if I took the hat off, I could like dress her in like a model muse body and make her like fashion. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, last but not least, we have doll number GHT93. He is the one that I have been most excited about, TBH. Um, and he was the one that when I saw the whole lineup, um, initially I was kind of like, oh, I was pretty intrigued by him because he has a little man bun. <laughs> um, right, so here he is, just like the other dolls with the same uh, printed logo wrapping. Let's go ahead and take a look, all right? One, two, and three. Oh my God, yes. Mama Rama, how cute is he? Adorable, look at his little pose. Just like sitting there like, hmm, what? I'm loving the little fanny pack going across his chest here, adorable. Love this big oversized sweatshirt. Like definitely looks very, very cozy. Look at his cute hair. Oh my God, I'm so excited to get it and see what it's all about. Oh, look at those slides. All right, boo, all right, we see you, we see you. I love this blue that he's sitting under, right? How beautiful, what a great contrast with the orange. All right, so let's go ahead and take Mr. Ken here out of his box. So just like the other two dolls, he lifts out just like so from the outer carton here. 
and we have the tissue paper sitting inside the shoe box right and then he too has his certificate of authenticity here right underneath the box um, it's the exact same certificate as with the other dolls so he is actually quite quite weighty actually something that i really really love about this collection is the inclusivity factor i feel like anytime carlisle designs a doll he is so mindful of that and i think that's one of the reasons that we all adore him and you know i feel like he's definitely always thinking of um, the outliers within the fashion and beauty world and just the world in general and he's giving us these cool options the other boy in this collection um, is so adorable he actually has like green flocked hair i think and he's wearing a full face of makeup so very much on trend with what's happening with our male beauty gurus um, kind of taking over the world and showing everyone that you know you can be a boy and wear makeup and it's like totally not a big deal i definitely commend mattel for investing in a collection like this and for being brave enough to do something like this, I think along with the Creatable World dolls, which they also sent me a little while back and they're currently sitting right back there. I love them so much. They're just the cutest little things and I love seeing them when I come home. They're always just smiley and adorable and I just feel happy when I see them. <laughs> I also appreciate that the packaging for these dolls is quite straightforward. You know, like unlike some dolls um, that are vinyl, um, in the Mattel family, like you, they're just packed for years. And I mean, you like tear up your fingers taking them out. These guys are actually not so bad. So I definitely appreciate that. So thank you very much, Mattel. Oh my God. <laughs> he is definitely way cooler than me. And I feel like he's currently giving me side eye. Like, what are you dressed in grandpa? Oh my God, look how cute his hair is. <gasps> oh, that's my favorite part about him. <laughs> Oh my god cute y'all know i come from brooklyn which is currently like the man bun capital of the world i feel like um i think people think that seattle is but i can tell you i have not seen very many man months out here you are so adorable look at this little bag oh my goodness and then he has his doll stand in here as well exactly the same as the other two dolls um, it's the black BMR 1959 stand with the acrylic um, stand portion here. Um, base, I meant to say. It's a black base, acrylic stand. Here is doll GHT93 from the BMR 1959 collection. Um, obviously he's my favorite because he's adorable and it's nice to see Ken giving us some variation, right? I feel like Ken always gets the short end of the stick. <laughs> but check out his little ensemble here. Um, the hair is like my absolute favorite thing ever. I love that it's real rooted hair and not molded hair. I love that the little undercut is flocked so freaking adorable it's also like a very neat man bun so i'm definitely definitely loving that he has the harley ken face and he also is in the made to move body he has this cool little cross body fanny pack here in black and gold that says bmr 1959 on it so that's cool like definitely like logo everything right like logo on the slippers bro logo on the shorts logo on the sweatshirt logo on the bag um, all right, I mean, it's obviously very trendy, very at the moment. Here he is from the back, big oversized hood here that actually fits him really nicely. There we go, just like so. And it feels quite nice, actually. Like, it feels thick. The material feels lovely. Um, it feels like sweatshirt material, so that's nice. The logo is actually printed on quite well, which I really appreciate. The shorts are cute as well. Um, they feel kind of like a fashionista pair of shorts, but uh, I appreciate the top stitch detail here. I think that's a nice little touch. I like that there are pockets here on the hoodie, so that's cool. Ken's hands do fit in there, as we can see here. And then here are his little slides, like so on trend. One side says BMR, the other side says 1959. They're definitely like very happening and of the moment here he is from the back we see that his little crossbody fanny pack can actually be adjusted here so that's cool for a tie to fit yeah just adorable um we are seeing a little bit of his knee which i don't find attractive but i do like the length of the short in that it is just barely covering it let's go ahead and get mr ken's ensemble off here so we can 
see what that is all about. So the little crossbody bag clips off just like so. Aw. I'm not really a fan of these for myself, but I swear so many people make them look so cool that I'm wondering if I should try it. <laughs> um, right, so it's oversized enough that we can probably, let's see, um, take it off over his head, I guess. I wanna be careful not to mess up his really cool bun here. Uh, just like so. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, here we go. Making progress here. Okay, there we go. Easy does it, perfect. All right, there is Ken in his buff bod. So the sweatshirt does leave some lint residue here in red if you can see it all over his body so just a heads up on that it's quite natural of this type of material especially before it's washed and treated to um, shed a little bit and leave a little bit of fuzz here and there so just um, you know give your doll a damp cloth wipe to get rid of all that excess sometimes left you know there for too long or mixed with humidity it can stain the doll so that's not good see it even transferred a little bit here on the flocked part of his hair so yeah, nothing you can't get off with a little uh, lint roller, but just a heads up on that. And the sweatshirt itself is actually quite lovely, you guys. It feels really, really legit. I love this waistband here, the thick waistband here at the bottom in orange. Love the orange and red combo with the big white logo here. Um, the logo feels quite nice and very lifelike as what we would find on adult clothing. The construction is quite nice. Everything is finished off really well we see the seams here at the top of the shoulder and then the one running here at the back of the hood done quite nicely we see side seams here on the underside of the arm um, we see that these are set in sleeves which means that they are sewn in and put in separately the pocket here is also put in separately which i really like it's a fully functioning pocket and here on the inside we see his bmr 1959 tag uh, the inside construction is, um, it's fine. This fabric can be a little bit tricky in that uh, the edges kind of curl in on, on itself after you sew them. So I think for what the fabric is, the construction is, I think, to be expected. Um, you know, again, nothing like haute couture and amazing in terms of its uh, construction, but very much on trend with what's um, happening in street culture and pop culture in general. Yeah, I really like this piece a lot. I like that it's oversized because it can fit so many of your dolls. Let's go ahead and take his little shorts off. Now these do not have a closure, um, neither did the hoodie. So these will just pull off and the waistband is in fact an elastic waistband here. So that makes it easy to pull on and off and it's gonna come off just like so. So here are his little shorts. They are knee length shorts. Um, they feel very much like that standard kind of um, poly silky fabric that they do a lot of their printing on. It's printed with a white BMR repeating logo on it. And then we see white trim here on the sides and down along the bottom cuffs. We see some black top stitching there to kind of pull in the black elastic waistband. This definitely is not like on par with some of the other garments in the collection, I feel. It's a little cheapy looking and feeling to me, but on, you know, on, as a whole, it works on the doll and it works and it looks nice, but uh, on its own, it definitely feels like cheap. If you look at the inside here, the construction is like nothing to write home about, truly. It's, um, you know, it is what it is, but all the same, it definitely could fit many of your other dolls um, and, could provide that cool oversized look. And here are Ken's slides. They are really cute actually. Um, molded rubber, so they feel nice and squishy here. One says 1959 on it, the other says BMR in gold. I do like that a lot actually, I think these are pretty cool. Here is his body. So he has the Ken made to move body. Um, we see articulation here at the head. 
here at the shoulder and then his bicep moves out and gives his arm a full range of motion here just like so he moves here at the elbow just like that and then at the wrist here as well his hands are actually kind of soft and squishy so this is a different vinyl than this because this feels like hard plastic this feels a little bit softer and this feels like hard plastic and this feels a little bit softer so it's an interesting mix of materials coming together to make this doll poseable for you guys he moves here underneath his breastplate as well um, and then he has a little pair of molded undies on that say ken on it adorable across the waistband and then his legs are just like so uh, they kick out towards us away from us out to the side we see the ball bearing mechanism in there in white um, in plastic and then uh, his thigh moves out as well knee moves back just like so and then his ankle also moves up and down so again as with the other two dolls for those of you guys that love articulation that love to move with your dolls and you know pose them and dress them and put them in different scenarios situations and scenarios you will love him i know that i have definitely seen many people ask for more articulated kens so i think he alone is definitely worth the purchase his face is really beautiful he has the harley face and nice pair of uh, very handsome eyebrows, beautiful sparkling eyes, beautiful soft peachy nude lips, kind of the same color as the doll before, and just a nice, you know, strong masculine face, which we all love. I really love the flocked undercut. I think that's so cute. Love his hair so much. Love all the colors in there, right? Has like a very cool kind of Japanese samurai type of, uh, of a look to it. But yeah, for those of you guys who love Ken dolls and want and need another Ken in your collection that has more range of motion, he's definitely adorable. I highly, highly recommend him. And here are Ken's cool little glasses. They are crystal clear plastic. They do not bend in, like the arms are not movable, but they go on his face. They fit perfectly and they look just like these. It's a, a cool little vibe, right? I like it a lot. I almost forgot about it. It was sitting there in a little plastic bag on the side of his box. And um, yeah, there we go. There's a close-up of it. Fits like a glove. Mattel also sent me this really beautiful BFMC calendar. It is a 16-month calendar starting with January of 2020. It has beautiful illustrations by Robert Best of the Silkstone Barbie collection. Available on Barbie.com. It's $14.99. It's a fantastic little stocking stuffer or gift for yourself or a friend of yours. So make sure to stop on by and get one. So there we have it, guys. These are three dolls from the brand new Barbie BMR 1959 collection. Thank you so much to the team at Mattel and Barbie for sending these guys to me. Also, just a quick little disclaimer here. I was not paid for this review. They did send me the dolls, but I obviously had the option of reviewing them and sharing them with you guys. And let me tell you, I am really, really happy to have them and to be able to experience them because out of the box, like in movement, they're actually really, really fun. I'm really happy to have them. They're colorful, gorgeous, and just offer something like pretty new and fun, I think, for fashion dolls. So I'm really excited to have them. If you guys get a chance, make sure to stop by barbie.com and pick up one for yourself. They're also available at select Target stores and of course on amazon.com. I will put links down below in the description box of where you guys can find them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after you subscribe. That way you guys are gonna be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates, including when Mattel sends me big PR boxes. I freak out and put it all over my stories, so you don't wanna miss that. <laughs> Until I see you guys again, the guys and I are um, headed over to Cap Hill, or Capitol Hill, I guess, we're um, going bar hopping to some really cool, um, very trendy bars that I am just not cool enough to go to without them. So they will of course be leading the way. I'll just be hiding behind them. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs from me and the BMR 1959 gang here in Seattle. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next week for another video, okay? Bye.